Russian billionaire Oleg Deripaska's main industrial group and investment vehicle, Basic Elements, was in trouble just a year ago when its units amassed more than $20 billion of debt. Its future looks somewhat brighter now, not least because of this year's IPO of one of Basic Elements' biggest assets, Rusal. I'm joined now by the CFO of Basic Elements, Alexander Lukin. Alexander, how comfortable are you with your debt levels at the moment? Uh, well, we have, uh, you know, completed this difficult period of debt restructuring. Uh, as a result, the debt level has uh, moved down for about 25%, uh, you know, from the peak level. And I think at the moment we are uh, more or less comfortable with the debt uh, level as such. However, uh, there is a lot of initiatives across the group to improve the terms and conditions of the borrowings uh, as the markets are opening. So, how, how big is the debt now, speaking about figures? Well, we don't uh, disclose the numbers for, uh, for the whole group. Uh, you know, it's still uh, substantial and the numbers that you have mentioned are, you know, about right. But as, as I said earlier, uh, we, we managed to decrease the debt significantly over the last um, year. How much do you need to restructure in 2010 and 2011? Uh, all major restructuring projects are complete now, so we don't uh, have to do the restructuring as such. And as I said earlier, uh, the game plan now is to uh, work with our uh, 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 debt portfolio uh, to improve the terms and conditions. You said, you've just said that market conditions are just about okay. Does that mean that you may borrow more? Uh, we don't uh, 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 look for the more borrowings unless we have uh, some uh, good projects uh, to pursue. And, uh, you know, in case we have, then we will, uh, you know, announce about these projects accordingly. Rusal used its IPO to pay back some of its debt. Do you think that may be the way for some other assets you have stakes in? Uh, it is possible. Uh, we have uh, some active plans uh, around the IPOs uh, for some of our assets. And uh, uh, as a, as a long-term strategy, make uh, our assets public is, uh, is what, what we're looking for. Uh, what is the time frame? How soon those IPO may be held? Uh, it all depends on the market conditions. Can we speak about next year? Uh, we can uh, speak about a uh, fairly short time period for some of the assets. So if, uh, you know, if conditions is right, then the decision is taken fairly quickly and we go ahead. Will those listings, uh, are you looking more into Moscow, London, New York, or are you looking into Hong Kong as well? Uh, for us, uh, Hong Kong is, uh, uh, at the moment, is a priority uh, uh, you know, listing listing venue is uh, what what we're looking for. Uh, have you returned to profits in all sectors you operate? Uh, yes, I think uh, the only year where we were negative uh, in uh, some businesses were, was uh, 2009, and uh, substantially due to the uh, write-off and impairments that we have to make on some of the assets. At the moment, the uh, profitability and, and operational profitability uh, is uh, good. Uh, we have some uh, projects where we're looking to improve them, but uh, they are outside of our main assets. As I said earlier, our main assets are profitable. What profit do you expect for 2010 as a group? Again, uh, we don't ex disclose the uh, numbers for the whole group. Uh, uh, I think we are, uh, uh, you know, uh, revenue-wise, we are targeting uh, uh, returning, bouncing back to the pre-crisis level this year, and profitability will improve uh, due to the uh, restructuring efforts and improving the uh, cost uh, side of the businesses, uh, which we did during the crisis. So now we, we came out of the uh, financial crisis uh, more strong uh, than, than we previously were. Many thanks to Alexander Lukin, the Chief Financial Officer of uh, Basic Element, um, Russian billionaire Elektor Rapaska's main uh, industrial group. Join me later for the interview with this Chief Financial Officer of Rosneft, biggest, Russia's biggest oil producer, Peter O'Brien. I'm Kirill Sokolsky here in Moscow. This is Reuters.